So today I thought we'd take a look at some very small wired remote control robots. And uh, this is the way the uh, this particular one would be sold on the blister card, packed up, hung in a grocery store someplace like that. Like a sticker says it was a dollar nineteen at the time. And uh, Here's the little guy right here. What we're talking about is just a simple uh, motorized rear wheel type affair. Uh, in this case, it takes a, a single C cell battery in this funky little plastic case. And didn't get much traction on the glass with hard plastic wheels. But you can see the wheels are turning. It's just that they're not rubber. They're hard plastic and this is glass. What do you want for a, a dollar and teen, right? So, there's your remote controlled robot for a dollar and teen. Then um, over here, we had Remco that came out with an, I think, eh, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm I think it was in the 1980s. And uh, I do have the cards that these came on too. I just couldn't find where they're at because they weren't sitting next to the robots. But uh, they're two strange looking robots, which is the only reason I picked them up back then is because they were so odd looking. But uh, they actually have kind of an advanced feature in that the uh, four wheels, if we can get them all in the picture, all four wheels are gear driven. Even the front two that that turn in reverse, they're geared as well. So it's kind of uh, kind of interesting. If I can, oh, I'm gonna drive them off, but you get the idea. All four wheels, even the front ones are turning. Plus you got a light. And again, this was a very inexpensive toy, so you'd have your forward and reverse. But um, as far as when it comes down to small wired remote control toys, robots that is, let me bring the legs up on this uh, tripod so I can carry you around a little easier. Sorry about uh, whatever it is you're seeing while I'm doing this. But I don't think I can walk down the aisles with these uh, tripod legs sprawled out. And that leg's fighting me. There's always one, right? So we'll live with it. Um, lots and lots and lots of them. These ones are all wind up here, but these are the same type of thing. Very small, run on a single pen light battery. You have a little toggle switch, and it basically just went forward and backward. Um, if I remember right, there's another cluster of them right over here. They're kind of spread all over. I use them to fill in gaps where I need space. There's a, a cool one there too, just because it's different looking with a light. Wired remote control. And these little guys here. What was nice about these, besides going forward and backwards, is they actually had a light in the head on a single battery. And uh, this one didn't. Got different versions of them there. The gold one. Look at that shiny gold guy. But that's getting bigger. I was trying to stay... Uh, the really small ones. There's a, there's more of those scattered around. Oh, yes, yeah, see right up here. This one actually fits inside that big box when you're not playing with it. And in there, there's the the battery super bot moves forward and backward. And I believe there's another one hiding back over here. Yeah, green one right there. So like I say, they're just kind of scattered around. If you ever visit the hut, you'll have to uh, go on your own hunt and search because you'll you'll find. A lot of them. Probably a hundred of them or more. Well, just over here on this side, for example. Here's a whole bunch. Here's a pink one, single battery, a white one with the tray, single battery. Here's a yellow one. Single pen light battery, drive them. Then they get a little bit larger and more sophisticated where you can actually not only drive them forward and backward, but you can raise and lower the arms and open and close the arms. Very cool ones there versions of it up there. But I'm digressing from my original topic which was the really 
small ones. You want to see something really strange. How about that little guy? Oh, that's enough. That's enough for today.